Good morning, friends, and welcome to Friday, February 12th. Bev Long will start us with wonderful words of life. Friday devotion is from the Upper Room Disciplines, written by Beth Richardson. And the scripture this morning is Psalm 50, 3 to 6. Our God comes and does not keep silence. Before him is a devouring fire and a mighty tempest all around him. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful ones who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declares his righteousness, for God himself is judge. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. These are troubling words in Psalm 50. Before God is a devouring fire. For months in 2020, the author watched as Australia burned. The Australian wildfires covered an area twice the size of the state of Maryland. Her mind could not comprehend the destruction of this scale. The news of this and other natural disasters overwhelmed her. She found herself turning away, averting her gaze from the overwhelming challenges that we all face. We are bound together on this earth as one people created by the Holy One. Our psalm names us as faithful ones who made a covenant with me. We are the creatures fashioned in the image of God, set as caretakers over the birds of the air and the fish of the sea. And yet it seems that we have not upheld, upheld our part in this contract. We've used the earth and its resources in ways that threaten the future of life on this planet. Rowing climate change is producing catastrophe, droughts of fires, rain and flooding, melting of the polar caps and rising oceans. Often these days, the author finds herself paralyzed with fear for our future. In Psalm 50, we find God arriving as a judge ready to hold court with the heavens and earth as witnesses. She imagines this statement from the creator, human ones, I gave you dominion over the earth and all its creatures. You have taken all that you wanted and left brokenness. I made covenant with you and you have broken my trust. What is our reply to these charges? How will we respond in this time of crisis? May our hearts and lives be transformed by God in these days of challenge. Let us pray. O oh God of creation, we have failed to be good stewards of this earth. Guide us in this time of chaos. Show us the individual actions we can take to help heal the world. Amen. And our closing hymn is Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, verse 4.
blessed Trinity. We are challenged to be good stewards.